a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Geico Advertising Campaigns Geico Advertising Campaigns are known for using surreal humor and satire, often featuring distinctive characters such as the company's mascot, the Geico Gecko. The advertising strategy incorporates a saturation level amount of print and television parody advertisements, as well as radio advertisements. A common line used by Geico is, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Invest to Warren Buffett, chairman and CEO of Geico parent Berkshire Hathaway, has stated that he would spend $2 billion on Geico ads if he could. Approximately double the spending in 2012, which was $1.1 billion, over twice that of second place Progressive Corporation, with 6.8% of premiums going into commercials. In 2016, Geico was the top spending brand in the United States, with over $1.4 billion in advertising, ousting second place Verizon and previous leader AT&T. However, this is offset by not paying agents commissions, since Geico uses a direct-to-consumer model. This has resulted in Geico being the second largest auto insurer in the United States. Many of the most prominent TV ad campaigns, such as the Geico Gecko, the Geico Caveman, the rhetorical questions campaign featuring Mike McGlone, Maxwell the Pig, and the Geico Hump de Camel were developed by the Martin Agency. Animated Advertisements Animated advertisements were part of the early Geico direct ads as well as the Dumb Things campaign. The 15 seconds long commercials, animated by Bill Plimpton, featured a curious little man walking up to an object and eventually getting hurt due to his curiosity of the object. One of the commercials, for example, involved him finding a cannon and pressing a button, causing a resulting cannonball to fire out and stick to his face. The original saying in the commercial was, you could still save money on car insurance. Even if you made a few mistakes, later modify to, we all do dumb things. Paying too much for car insurance doesn't have to be one of them. The Gecko The company's ads sometimes focus on its reptilian mascot, the Gecko, an anthropomorphic day gecko created by the Martin Agency modified in 2005 to a CGI character by animation director David Hewlin and his team at Framestore. The Gecko first appeared in 1999, during the Screen Actors Guild strike that prevented the use of live actors. The original commercial features the Gecko, voiced by actor Kelsey Grammer, who climbs onto a microphone on a podium and utters, This is my final plea. I am a Gecko, not to be confused with Geico which could save you hundreds on car insurance. So, stop calling me, before licking his eye. Later, wrong number, ads used Dave Kelly as the voice of the gecko. In the subsequent commercials with Jake Wood, the gecko speaks with a British Cockney accent, because it would be unexpected, according to Martin Agency's Steve Bassett. In 2010's commercials, the gecko's accent is more working class, perhaps in an effort to further humanize him. As computer animation got better and as we got to know the character better, we did a few things, says Steve Bassett, creative director at the Martin Agency. We wanted to make him a little more guy next door, and he looks a lot more real than he's looked before. Chelsea Clinton, daughter of former President Bill Clinton and then Secretary of State, and 2016 Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton, interviewed the Geico Gecko in April 2013. He had since became Geico's longest-running mascot, appearing in more than 150 commercials as of 2017. Maxwell the Pig Maxwell is an anthropomorphic talking pig and recurring character in Geico advertisements. Maxwell debuted in an installment of the rhetorical questions campaign as the little piggy who cried wee 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 all the way home, being driven home by a friend's mother, squealing along the way. While Maxwell was originally intended as a one-time character, the popularity of his debut commercial resulted in him being spun off into his own series of commercials which usually feature him as a tech-savvy, informative pig who is most concerned with his Geico-related objects. Caveman A popular series of well-received advertisements uses cavemen as pitchmen. Also developed by the Martin Agency, the ad center on Neanderthal-like cavemen, 
no different from modern-day individuals, encountering either an ad or commercial with the tagline, Geico, so easy a caveman could do it, followed by their disgust with the supposed stereotype of caveman stupidity. The ads posit a world where cavemen are still alive and active members of society in the present day, behaving and living nothing at all like the stereotypical caveman. The main characters presented in the ads are affluent, educated, and cultured, eating at fancy restaurants, going to exclusive parties, and seeing their therapists. The humor revolves around the relative normality of the cavemen's presence and their reactions to the stereotype represented in the ads and their attempts at defending themselves from the stereotype. The ads were so successful that the commercial actors are appearing in a successful series of interactive websites written and produced by Geico's in-house creative team at Caveman's Crib and most recently, Eheart Caveman, a spin-off TV series, titled Cavemen and starring new actors. Debuted on ABC in October 2007 to overwhelmingly negative critical reaction. It was cancelled after only six episodes were aired. Parodies Another common theme is misdirection, in which the commercial appears to be about an unrelated product, suddenly changing to become a plug for Geico. The commercials use a variety of fictional characters such as Speed Racer, Chatty Cathy, Jed Clampett, and Bill Duchess. Other commercials relate to a hair loss doctor who is saved by switching to Geico, a nature show about a fish, workout with Tony Little, and a soap opera of a couple who are breaking up. Another set of Geico ads involved a fictional reality show called, Tiny House, in which contestants were forced to live in a half-scale house. An additional commercial theme is the promotion of fictional products. In 2006 parody ads featured such products as long-distance phone service, tomato soda, fast food, a reality TV show, dolls and even poking fun at the Old Navy commercials in all cases. The parody portion of the ad ends with, but it won't save you any money on car insurance. After the Geico slogan is heard, the commercials end with, why haven't you called Geico? Including Wonder Glue. The parody pitch crossed over to the Caveman campaign in 2007, in a 10 seconds spot that appears to be a Talking Heads news interview, but features the popular Caveman. In response to some of the parody ads, Seth Green and Matthew Sanrique wrote a sketch using the character C in a parody of one of the celebrity ads, for their second Robot Chicken Star Wars special. MADTV also made a sketch parodying these ads using characters of Elmo and Carlos Mencia. Actor Scott White has made a series of commercial parodies, calling the company, Shmiko, while performing a series of impressions. I've got good news. In another ad campaign, a character would be breaking bad news to another, but then offers helpfully, I've got good news. I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance by switching to Geico, that news of course, is of no immediate use at all, to the other character. Some of the ads were parodies and or featured celebrities including, for example, Esteban. One featured the popular anime character Speed Racer. The exchange became parodied for a time while the ads were popular. One of the most watched, I've Got Good News, spots was a soap opera parody featuring television actor Sebastian Siegel. Bland Salesman In another series of ads, a Geico pitchman is played by actor Jerry Lambert in an extremely bland and understated way, parodying the stereotype of an insurance man, such as reading to a group of uninterested children from a book of fairy tales about insurance, watching a view of cats in the living room where a gecko is standing on the couch, relaxing on a hot tub with a couple, and a flashback about honk if you like. In one segment, he reads a supposed email from a viewer saying it would be the bomb if the gecko would do a dance called the robot. Cut to the gecko doing the dance smoothly and gracefully and then back to the insurance salesman attempting to do the same dance, seemingly more stiffly than an actual robot would. The newest commercial featuring the Geico gecko depicts the gecko receiving a business suit from the salesman in order to present a more professional appearance, but he declines. Real Service, Real Savings In this campaign, a real Geico customer would present his slasher testimonials, while a celebrity standing next to, or behind, the customer uses his slasher signature styles to help get the customer's word across. Some of these celebrities included, the slogan exclusive, 
to this campaign is Geico, real service, real savings. Migrate Rides In 2007, Geico also launched a social networking site, Migrate Rides, for motorcycle owners. Migrate Rides is a place for cycle owners to share stories about trips they have taken on their bikes, as well as post pictures of their motorcycles and comment on other members' stories and pictures. Migrate Rides was taken down on 27 February 2012. Geico Racing the number 7 car of the NASCAR Nationwide Series is driven by Mike Wallace and was sponsored by Geico prior to 2009. Commercials involving the race team are of a memorably disdainful young boy, played by actor Eddie Heffernan claiming to be a relative of Mike Wallace and being a better driver. The boy says, when people see Mike Wallace and the Geico number 7 doing well, they'll think of saving a bunch of money on car insurance. But when they see me, They'll say, there goes Lauren Wallace. The greatest thing to ever climb into a race car, the commercials are sometimes presented in an interview fashion, where an unseen narrator speaks to the ambitious go-kart driver. What do you think of Mike Wallace? The child is asked, to which he responds, whatever. He's out there selling car insurance, I'm out there to win. When questioned on his relation to the NASCAR driver, Lauren shakes his head and concludes. I didn't say I wouldn't go fishing with the man, all I'm saying is if he comes near me, I'll put him in the wall." To which the narrator questions him, you don't race in the Bush series. Lauren replies, listen, go kart track, grocery store, those remote controlled boats. When it comes to Mike Wallace the story ends with me putting him in the wall. New ads in this lineup include Lauren referring to himself as being 100 miles away and ready to strike, and lightning in a bottle. The success of those ads resulted in the launch of an interactive website written and produced by Geico's in-house creative team at Geico Garage. The site includes cameo appearances by Lauren Wallace and drivers Mike Wallace, his daughter Chrissy Wallace, Speed TV's Tommy Kentel, Paul Tracy, Christian Fittipaldi and Max Puppies. Tress, The Real Scoop Introduced in the 2nd of August 2007, this series of ads features an e-true Hollywood story type show about famed fictional characters such as Fred Flintstone, Jed Clampett, and even a Cabbage Patch Kid named Ben Winkler claiming to have their cars insured by Geico, featuring interviews with made-up investigators. These commercials were voiced over by narrator David O'Brien. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?